Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is my February makeup basket. So like every month, I'm going to show you what I'm putting back, what I'm keeping, and then I'm gonna go into my drawers and pull out what I wanna play with for February. So one exciting thing that I'm gonna roll back into my collection is this Filmstar Bronze Anglo Duo from Sherla Tilbury. I wanted to hit pan on this bronzer here, and I did, so I'm gonna put this back, and then I'm gonna focus on the other bronzer in my drawer, and that is the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together bronzer. I'm just gonna focus on this for February. I feel like I do not give enough attention, especially if I pick other bronzers to play with that month. I, for some reason, I always reach for those over this, even though there's nothing wrong with this, and it's a beautiful bronzer. So I'm just gonna have this out this month to play with exclusively. I have some palettes out here. I have all of these out at the same time because I have five shades that I'm working on for my Pan Loose Eyeshadows project. I have a shade from the Modern Metals palette from e.l.f., the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Bold Obsessions palette from Milani, and the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, and I also have a single from Nabla that I'm working on. I keep Sultry out because there's a couple like staple shades that I keep in here that I'm really close to hitting pan on, so I'm going to keep all of these in for this month as well. I do have some single shadows from Tarte here. I had purchased these last month and I wanted to play with them a little bit. I didn't use this blue shade here, Dark Seas, but I did use Poker Face and Grind a couple times. And it's a beautiful formula, I love it, but I'm going to put this back and focus on my Panless Eyeshadows eyeshadows this month. Another thing I'm going to put back is this blush here from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Love is the Drug. This is the blush that I used exclusively for the past couple of weeks. And as much as I do love it, I do want to play with some other blushes, so I'm going to put this one back. And I'm going to keep the Urban Decay Sunkiss Bronzer in. I use this as a bronzy blush. I don't even think I reached for this once in the past couple of weeks, so I'm going to keep it in this month. I have a couple cream products here. These are in my Partners in Cream project, so I'm going to keep these in this month as well. And I have two highlighters here that I want to focus on and hopefully finish by the end of the year. Uh, I have the Balms Mary Luminizer. You can see I've already hit pan and used up quite a chunk of this. And I also have the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. This one I had to tape back together, uh, but if you can see, there's a ton of this gone. I really do feel like if I focus on these two, I can finish them by the end of the year. Same with this RCMA No Color Powder. I don't know if you can see in the bottom there, but I only have a tiny little bit left, and then whatever I have left in this little container that I depotted into. So I'm going to try my best to finish this this month. I think I'm going to put back this Jouer foundation. I reached for it a couple times, uh, but I've been using like all my foundations pretty regularly, just reaching for a different one every day. So I don't think I need to pull one out exclusively for the moment. I'm going to put back this Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to play with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one this month. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to put away this Balm Sexy Mama powder. I had this in my backpack and I hit pan on it. I don't like to keep powders in my backpack that I've hit pan on just because I feel like they're more likely to break. So I'm going to put this back and put a different compact powder in my backpack. I'm going to keep this Kevin Aquan powder. I did repress it, not very well. And I'm just going to hold on to this and use it continually. My hair still has a little bit of red in it, so I'm going to keep my two red eyebrow pencils out. I have one from NYX and one from ColourPop, and they're both in the shade Auburn. I'm going to put back my Stila Glitter and Glow and Sea Siren. I didn't reach for it at all in the past couple of weeks. I'm going to put it back and maybe just focus on my quintet from my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. I'm going to keep my Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color. Uh, it's in the shade Jet. I use it as a liner. And I'm going to keep my NYX Dark Circle Concealer as well. I don't have a ton of uses left in my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes little mini sample. Honestly, I don't think this is the best. I don't love it. I'm just going to use it for another month and then replace it with a new mascara. And I have been using the Cover FX Concealer for the past couple of months pretty religiously, and I think I'd just like to change it up and play with a new concealer this month. Now that we've seen what I'm keeping in for February, let's go into my makeup drawers and see what else I want to pull out. So this is my first eyeshadow drawer. I don't actually think I'm going to be pulling anything from this drawer particularly, so I'm just going to move on to my next drawer. Okay, so I put back my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to pull out the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Got these around the same time, and I just used the Makeup Revolution one a lot more, but I'd like to use this a little bit more as well. And I recently got the Juicy Olive palette. I kind of bought it for myself for Christmas, and I I know I'm supposed to focus on my Panda's eyeshadows, but I do want to pull this out. I feel like I really just want to use it so bad, so I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> I think that's everything for eye makeup. Pretty quick this time around, so I'm just going to close this and move on to the next drawer. 
The next drawer is blushes, and I really do want to focus on my oldest blushes that I own, so I'm going to keep the Sun Kissed Bronzer from Urban Decay, and I'm also going to pull out Beloved by Makeup Revolution. This is just a really pretty bright neon pink color, and I really love it, so I'm going to pull it out this month. The next one is bronzers, and I really do want to focus on that pure one that is one of my older bronzers as well. So I'm going to not pull anything from this drawer, and I'm just going to move on to highlighters. I am keeping two liquid or cream highlighters for my Partners in Cream project, so I'll have those that I'm working on this month. And then I do have those two powder ones that I'm working on as well, the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow and the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. So I'm not going to pull any new ones out this month. So that's everything for this drawer too. Wow, what an exciting makeup basket video. <laughs> okay, so for base products, foundation products, I think I'm going to pull out this Makeup Revolution powder foundation. I mentioned this in a video a while back. I'm in the shade P5.7. And this is a powder foundation with a strong olive undertone. I think you can even tell that it does, does have like a greenish undertone on camera. And this is really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, so I'm going to pull this out. And whenever I'm feeling too lazy to wear a liquid foundation, I'll wear this. And because I did put away the Cover FX Concealer, I am going to pull this out. This is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I think it's in the shade, yeah. It's in C7, and I have been neglecting it because I've been using the Cover FX one, so I'm going to pull this one out. And for lip products, I'm going to pull out one Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Soft Lilac. It's a really pretty light purple. I do want to reach for this more. I have it in my Partners in Cream Project pan. So I'm going to pull this out whenever I don't want to wear just a regular nude like Crush. I'll pull this out and wear it. And I think that's it for this store as well. Okay, so this is my makeup basket for February. I know it's not too, too different from what I had last month. I only switched out maybe 10 or so products and brought in like five or six new ones. I am changing it up with the Juicy Olive Palette and the new powder foundation from Makeup Revolution. I changed up the concealer and the eyeshadow primer, added a new blush in. I'm so close to finishing up this RCMA powder. I'm so excited to have that gone. That's gonna be such an accomplishment. I don't think I've ever used up such a large loose powder before, and it'll give me a chance to play with the other ones I have in my collection. Hopefully I'll have some pans in my quintet, and so I'll be bringing in new eyeshadow palettes next month. Fingers crossed. This is what I'll be working with in February, but in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.